happen? God, how could you let this happen to me? How could you take her away from me? Grace, God loved her so much. She lived a full life. No! If God really loved her that much, how could he do this to her? No! This doesn't make any sense! Hey dad, what's up? Hi sweetie, how are you doing? Okay dad, I know why you're calling. Today's the fifth anniversary of mom's passing. But you don't need to check up on me anymore. I'm okay, I've dealt with it. I know, it's just, I've been praying for you and I wanted to see how you were doing. I mean, it's been five years already. Why shouldn't I be over it? I've been doing well in school, hanging out with my friends and trying to find a job has kept me busy enough. Half You've been able to find support through church? Sorry, Dad. I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Ugh, I hate thinking about this. Why does he always try to bring up church? Hey, we heard you were on the phone. You sounded frustrated. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just my dad called, and I can't handle it when he tries to bring up God. I didn't need God then, and I don't need him now. I see. Is there anything we can do to help you? Or something we can pray for you about? Alright guys, I appreciate it. But please stop pushing this church and prayer thing on me. If we're going to be friends, you'll have to accept that we don't believe in the same things. Alright then, what do you believe in? I believe in myself. How can God, faith, and all these things be valuable? You're not even 100% sure it's real, right? But the things I've done, the things I've accomplished, the friends I have, that's what's valuable. I didn't need him before, and I certainly don't need him now. I see where you're coming from. But can you honestly look at these things that are so temporary and say you find personal value in them? What if those things were taken away from you? I can't handle this right now. Stop trying to push your Christian agenda on me. Why would she ask me that question? Where do you find your personal value? They must think they could see right through me or something. Ugh. I have a solid job lined up, friends I could share life with. But if they leave me, if I didn't have these things, I mean... When mom left, it hurt pretty bad, and truth be told, it broke me. Is that what Alicia means? Hey dad, I'm sorry about earlier. Today's been a rough day for both of us, but I don't think I ever thought about how hard it would be on you. Hi sweetie, that's okay, it's hard. You know, I still call her phone sometimes. I've always known. You call her even when you were home. I don't think you realize how much you missed her. And that's why I keep calling you. And reminding you how much God and I love you. What do you mean God loves me? Why do you keep looking back at this imaginary being for comfort? I know it seems hard to believe. But we have to believe that God brings the good and allows the bad. And even if we experience more pain than we think we can bear, we can trust in his ultimate love for us because of how he sent his only son to die a terrible death for our sin. His love? What love? He took mom away from us. What kind of love is that? I think only God can answer your questions. Try talking to him. And if you find nothing, then you only waste a little bit of time. But if you discover something there, maybe you can get some closure. Closure? I'll... Maybe I'll try that out, but only because you've been insisting for so long. God, I don't want to talk to you, but my dad told me I should, so you know what? I'll humor him. My Christian childhood taught me that you've been speaking to me. Some would say you're knocking at my door, but I haven't heard anything. You never spoke to me. I kept waiting. People told me to have faith, to have patience. I kept trying. Why didn't you talk to me? Grace, I have been with you. Though you thought I was silent, I suffered there beside you. I've been trying to reach you in so many ways, your father, your roommates, but you never gave me a chance. When I left you, I felt empty. I did all I wanted, free of all your rules. But I still don't feel free. How come I never win? Do you even love me? You've tried to be strong your whole life powering through the pain rather than giving it up to me. 
I'm not calling you to ignore the pain or pretend to be okay. I'm calling you to let me be your strength when you are weak. What are you trying to say? That all these things I try to find peace in were just masking my pain? What is it that you value? If you put your worth in relationships and academic success, then you'll never realize my love for you. But if you fix your eyes on me, you'll realize how I love you, even in the pain, and how I've come to walk with you towards eternal hope. Hi, you've reached Jane. Sorry, I'm not available right now. Please leave a message after the tone. God bless you! Hi mom, I miss you. I don't know if I could do this, but a part of me wants to try.